I miss you guys. I miss to be back in Chicago. It's nice to be here. Good evening, Chicago and Blackhawk fans around the world. Dobrý večer, Chicago. A všetkým Blackhawks fanúšikom po celom svete. It is such an honor to be here tonight and to share this with all of you. It is incredibly humbling to have my 81 forever hung here next to greats such as Glenn Hall, Pierre Pilot, Kid Magnuson, Bobby Hall, Denis Savard, Tony Esposito, and fellow Slovakian Stan Mikita. I cannot believe it. When I was 11 years old, my Slovak hockey team came to Quebec City to play Pee Wee tournament. One of the families wanted to buy me a gift, a jersey of my choice. I did not hesitate. A red Chicago Blackhawks jersey, number 28, Steve Larmer. That was the first ever Black Star jersey I wore, and I remembered vividly today. Fast forward seven years later, 1997, I came to play to Portland Winterhawks, who at the time had the same iconic crest, and I was always excited to pull that sweater over my head. So when I signed with the Blackhawks on July 1st, 2009, you can imagine my excitement. <laughs> Finally, my very own Chicago Blackhawks sweater. <laughs> In 1997, when the Ottawa Senators drafted me, I chose number 18 because I was 18 years old. I wore the number proudly for 11 years in Ottawa Atlanta and Pittsburgh. When I signed as a free agent in Detroit in 08, the number 18 was worn. <laughs> it never gets old, right? So this number was taken by Kirk Malby, who won at the time already four Stanley Cups. So I did not like my chances <laughs> getting his number. So I decided to switch to 81. When I then signed with the Blackhawks in the summer of 09, of course, my luck was no different here. The number 18 was already retired and hanging in those rafters for Savi. So I decided to keep my number 81 here in Chicago. I never imagined my 81 would be added alongside Savi's 18 just 13 years later. What a memorable ride. My father, Frank, has been a hockey player and coach his whole life. He always taught us to respect the game play it right way, and if you work hard, you will achieve your dreams, not just in a game of hockey, but in a life as well. I want to share this message with all young hockey players around the world. Focus on your goal, work hard, have fun, and one day you will achieve your dreams, because it's so important to keep pushing yourself to reach the mountain top. <laughs> like all players, I dreamt of winning the Stanley Cup from the moment I was drafted. After losing back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in uh, Pittsburgh and Detroit, I was beginning to think for a second it was me. <laughs> but I learned that you can come back from anything 
no matter how bad it is. It's all about your mindset. Because of what my father installed in me at a young age, I came to Chicago and I was greatly rewarded with not only one Stanley Cup, but with three. Young hockey players and children of all sports never give up, and one day you too will reach your dreams. I want to share a few thank yous to people that are important to me personally and through my time as a player here in Chicago. They've made my job easy and allowed me to focus on being a great hockey player and teammate, so I want to recognize them tonight. Thank you to Rocky and Danny Wards. And to entire Wards family for this humbling honor of retiring my jersey. For me, for making me forever a Black Hawk. Chicago is always a part of home for me and my family, and where my middle daughter, Zoya, was born. We are forever grateful and cannot thank you enough. <laughs> to the entire Blackhawks organization, past and present. Kyle Davidson, Jamie Faulkner, and all the staff, thank you. It is so special to continue to be a small part of your organization and what you are working hard to build on and off the ice. <laughs> to all my Blackhawks teammates and coaches, thank you. I hope you will all enjoy playing together as much as I did. My ex-teammates in Sweet L53. <laughs> it is such an honor you are here tonight for me. Thank you, guys. Especially, I want to thank six players. Together with all of you, we won three Stanley Cups. <laughs> and the bond and friendship will last a lifetime. I cannot thank you all enough for being here tonight to share this with, with me and my family. I love you all. Something tells me very soon I'll be flying back to Chicago to raise a few more of these jerseys. I, f I feel I'm taking here whole week all the credit, but uh, you know, because of these guys and the guys we won the Stanley Cup, that's why I'm here. So thank you guys. Taser, I'll never forget the feeling when you had me the Stanley Cup on the ice in Philadelphia after we won for the first time together. Wow. <laughs> Kaner, that goal in 2010. What can I say? And it uh, seems like every time we needed a big play or big goal, you stepped up. I wish you guys all the best in your careers. <laughs> Dunks, your focus and love for the game is unmatched. You maximize every ounce, and I still don't know how you found all the energy every single game. 
By the way, by the way, your teeth look good. Sharpie, your knowledge of the game always impressed me. So did your commitment to the pranks and keep it at fun. One of the best shooters I ever played with. Let's not talk about your passing. <laughs> Sibzi, the voice of the dressing room, set the tone for the team atmosphere when we needed someone to speak up and he always back it up by scoring huge goals in a playoffs. <laughs> Hammer, what can I say? <laughs> Quiet leader, tough. You were always a blocking machine and the unsung hero of all three cups. And Coach Q. When I signed here in 2009, he told me, Hoss, you're gonna love it here. We're going to have lots of fun together. You know what? He was right. He was my favorite coach, and he brought out the best in all of us. Thank you for everything, you. Thank you to Dale Talon, the man who brought me to Chicago as a free agent. Dale, give me that opportunity. I am grateful for it. Thank you, Dale. Also, thank you to John McDonough, Jay Blanc, Stan Bowman, Al McIsaac for believing in me. It means a lot to me and my family. Thank you to my agent, Rich Winter. You are unreal. Your ideas and creativity are a big part of why I am here tonight. I am lucky to have you as a friend and as a mentor. Thank you, Rich. Thank you to my Slovak agent, Big Pete. You are like a brother to me. It means so much to me that our friendship never changed, and I feel even stronger today. Thank you to all my friends from Trenčín. You guys took a long trip to be here tonight to support me. I will never forget this. It means so much to me. Thank you to all Blackhawk staff over the years that helped me to be best version of myself as a player as I could be. I want to mention a few special ones to me, the trainers. <laughs> Mike Gapsky, Troy Parchman, Pavel Perlinski, Jeff Thomas, Jimmy Hazelman, Polly Goodman, Dr. Terry, and of course, Clint Reef. Thank you, guys, making my job so easy. You guys are big help for these guys, for us, and for everybody. I really appreciate it. Thank you to a few others upstairs in the front office. Pete Hassan, Brandon Faber, Adam Rogowin, Tony Omen, Ashley Hinton. Thank you. And the broadcasters of my Blackhawks career, Pat Foley,
Edzo. John Widerman. And Troy Murray. Edzo, I appreciate it, you coming home to help make this all night special. Thank you very much. To current Blackhawks team and the coaches, thank you for being part of this evening. I have enjoyed watching how hard you work each night. I want you to recognize how special our opportunity is to wear Blackhawks sweater and to represent this organization and the city. <laughs> to the Blackhawks fans, I always remember the United Center full of life, full of energy, with the roar of this crowd on a big goal, bringing this madhouse to a life. It's the best place to play hockey. Many special moments in my career happen right here in this building. My OT game winning goal in overtime against Nashville 2010. <laughs> Celebrating my 1,000 game milestone in 2013. My 500 goal here against Flyers in 2016. Countless victories and pivotal playoff wins. This is a special place to me, and I love you, Blackhawks fans. <laughs> Lastly, I want. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I would like to thank to my beautiful family. It's not possible to be standing here without each of you. Celebrating this special honor with all of you means so much to me. Mom, Dad, thank you for all you had taught me about the game and about the life. I will never forget your dedication to early drives to the cold practice rings. You always made it happen for us. I love you so much, and I am forever grateful. <laughs> Marcel, I could not ask for a better brother, and I know I'm always here for you. <laughs> Thank you to my beautiful wife, Jana. My best friend and my companion, you inspire me every day, and I am thankful you are the mother of the three princesses, Mia, Zoya, and Emma. I am so blessed because of you. It has been special for me to be even more present with our birth of our youngest, Emma. Being able to help more with Emma makes me the happiest dad in the world. Well, beside the diaper changing in the middle of the night. <laughs> Mia, Zoya, and Emma, I love you girls, and I'm so proud to be your father. Ďakujem Chicago, ďakujem Trenčín, ďakujem Slovensko. Thank you Chicago, thank you Trenčín, thank you Slovakia. Thank you all again so much. Let's get a win tonight and have a great night Chicago. Ciao.